All right, guys. Today's video is on my Droid Razer Max, and uh, today I'm going to show you three ways to update to Jelly Bean. I should say the newest Jelly Bean because Jelly Bean did come out around Christmas uh, on a leak or an OTA update that was accidentally pushed, however you want to call it. Um, but a new update just got pushed in a soak test to uh, the phones. Not everybody's got it right now. It is a soak test, but you can download it. I will give you links to that in my video description below. And now you're going to be on Jelly Bean, which is ver version 98.72.16 instead of .8. That is the difference. So let me just go ahead and show it to you. Let's go ahead and go into system. I've already actually updated this. I just want to go ahead and show it to you so you guys can see what, what, what we're looking at here. And right here, system version. Right there it says 98.72.16.xt912 Verizon ENUS. That right there is the newest build. This is going to be the official OTA update for the Droid Razor Max. So, I've already done it, it's installed, and let's get into showing you guys how to install it. Um, I do have, so you can see here, I have safe strap right here, already installed on it, and I do have super user down here at the bottom already installed, and do, I do have root permission so root access so that is a good thing I'll go through kind of how to show you guys how to keep all that and use all that so first thing I'm gonna show you guys if you already have the leak installed and you have um, safe strap installed I'm gonna show you guys how to install it for you guys so that's gonna be my first one so let's go ahead and we're gonna reboot as soon as my file finishes downloading up here and I'll show you that so hand so the first step you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and take whatever file it is, whichever one of the three files you need, and put it on your external SD card. That's your first step. Okay. After that, let's go ahead and reboot. You'll understand what file you need as you watch the video. You're either going to need a safe strap file, you're going to need a small OTA update file, or a big OTA update file. It's going to be one of those three. So this is for installing if you have safe strap installed. Okay. So first we're going to shut down the phone. If you have a custom ROM on there or whatever it is, make sure you shut down the phone and we're going to get back into safe strap recovery. So power up. And if you've installed safe strap, you ought to know how to use these menus. I'll just kind of discuss it as I go though. So what we're going to do is uh hit your menu button right down here at the bottom and we're going to enter safe strap. You can see I was on stock operating system, not a custom ROM there, but I'm just going to go through it so everybody's on the same page with me here. So we're in safe strap and this is what you can do. So if you're on a custom ROM, let's say you're on this one here. So ROM slot 2 is enabled. You boot it up, you're on ROM slot 2, you want to install the new update, all you got to do is in boot menu here, boot boot options, select stock and activate it. Now you're set up on the stock ROM slot. Go back and all you're going to do is you're going to go to installs. And right here there is a SS, which is safe strap file. Um, this safe strap file is called safe strap blur verizon.98.72.8 XT. 912 Verizon EN US, that's it. So, what this is, is this is a safe strap flashable update. If you flash it to stock system, you will update to the new update, and you can do it all from safe strap. So, all you would do is you'd select it and you'd swipe across, and boom, you are updated. Easiest way to do it if you're already at this point, done. Reboot the device, you'll be on the new update. Okay, very simple. Hashcode has made this thing, just put it out. Excellent, excellent developer. All love them. So that's the first step. That's the first way to do it. So you just do that. You would back out, back out once it's done flashing. And you would reboot the device. So we're going to do that anyway. Reboot. And there you go. And you reboot and boom, done. Really simple, really easy to do. So that is the first process. The next process I'll show you once we boot back up. And we'll get into that one. So hang on. 
So the last process was using a straight safe strap flashable zip and what that's going to do is that's going to take you from the, the leak on ice cream sandwich or on jelly bean from Christmas, the Christmas jelly bean leak and that's going to take you to the newest one which is dot .16 instead of dot .8. That was that's, that's that process. That's if you have safe strap installed on that jelly bean setup. Okay, so it's process number two is what we're going to do is we're on stock here. Um, this is again would be stock jelly bean um, 0.8, so the Christmas edition. So what you're going to do is you you you've gone back and booted the stock off a of safe strap, and you still have safe strap installed, and obviously you have root permission. I would go ahead and back up root with Voodoo. Um, it's an application. Let me see if I can show it to you here. So we'll show you Voodoo really quick. Um, right here, Voodoo OTA. Right here, you can back up uh, root access and all those goodies right here in this in these settings right here. So download this if you want to protect your root access. Um, so then we're going to go into Safe Strap. So once in Safe Strap, you're going to uninstall Safe Strap right here. And this is going to go ahead and uninstall it so that we can get into a stock recovery setup. Um, so we're going to, and it's uninstalled, see, not installed right up there, it says so. Back out, back out, and now we're going to reboot the device, or power it off, I should say, and we're going to try to get into stock recovery. Um, so for this update way of updating, you're going to want to have the 40 megabyte file. Again, links in the video description. So you have a uh, jelly bean installed, it's the dot eight version from Christmas. Safe strap, you want to just dis uninstall safe strap and we're gonna power back up by holding volume up and down and power. This is gonna get us into bootloader mode. Now uh, that's programming mode. We want to, we don't want that mode. So both up and down and power. And then go down one and it highlights recovery and then push volume up and this will boot up stock Android recovery and we're going to apply the 40 megabyte uh, update zip through here and I'll go through that really quick. Let's let this boot up here. Shouldn't take too long. Alright, so this is standard um, recovery, stock recovery. So to access the rest of it, you just push volume up and down at the same time and you get this menu on the top. From here you go to apply update from external storage hit power then you go down to where you've downloaded it. I have it in downloads hit power and you scroll down to the update which is basically called the Christmas version which is the Verizon or version 98.72.8 and you hit power and it flashes it the whole process probably take you about 10 minutes and then it's going to actually go back Let's see here go up a level go up a level and it's going to come back to this screen on top this will go away you'll update it'll pop back up and it'll say reboot now and you just hit power and it'll reboot the device it'll go through some android is upgrading stuff and you will be on the newest official OTA update of jelly bean so that is second number two way of updating so the last one we'll go over is basically the same as this one except for you would be on ice cream sandwich alright this is gonna be update number three and basically you're gonna be if this is if you were on ice cream sandwich which is the version number that ends in dot two one one so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you have the third file the biggest file that I'm gonna have in my video links down below and you wanna have it downloaded and on the external SD card of your device then you wanna hold both your volume up and down and your power button and then you wanna go down with the volume and hit recovery mode and then up with the volume and again we're gonna boot into recovery mode just like we did in the last update uh, so let's just do that. Alright, you got the Android guy laying on his side with the triangle. Hit both volume up and down at the same time. 
Then you're going to scroll down to apply update from external storage. Select it with the power button. Go down to downloads, which is where I've downloaded that update zip. Select it with power. Then you want to scroll to this is the update zip. It's going to be called Verizon or Blur version dot six dot one six dot one or dot two one one. I'm sorry, guys. Dot XT. 912 Verizon EN US zip. The, the update zips are, zips are always called what Android version you're currently running, but it updates you to the newest update. So just understand that it's always called what you should be running. So there you go, you hit that. Again, probably 10 minutes to update, maybe 20 by the time you're done with everything. And it's gonna pop you back to, I'll show you. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. It's going to come back to this screen when it's done updating. It'll have a bunch of file stuff running right here in yellow. When it's done, this screen will come back and it'll say reboot system now. You'll do that. And you're, you will boot up and you'll be running the OTA soak test, which is going to be the official OTA uh, release. And you'll be on Jelly Bean on the Droid Racer Max. So there you guys go. That is my three ways to update to the newest OTA on Jelly Bean that was released today March 7th 2013 I uh, hope you guys like this tutorial I hope it helped a bunch of you out um, if it did please check out my website above subscribe down below or you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter I'm gonna be doing some giveaways coming up here on Twitter specifically and Facebook actually both so please subscribe and follow me on both of those. I got some cell phone cases and stuff that hopefully I'm going to be getting and be giving away for you guys. So I hope you like this. And as always, we'll catch you next time. Really quick, P.S. guys. If you have SafeStrap installed, like I do, or did until I installed it in the video, if you have SafeStrap installed, and you were running a custom ROM on there somewhere, you are not going to be able to run that until the ROM developer updates it for this kernel on the new update. So I tried to rerun it after I updated and had SafeStrap installed and used the custom ROM I was running on ROM slot 1. And wouldn't boot, won't function. So until your ROM developer updates it, you're only going to be able to run stock right now on this update so hope that helps you guys too a little information before you update so you're aware of it uh, thank you